It's like the white wing dove sings a song that sounds like she's singing. Stevie Nicks is the first female artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall. Stevie, you're not celebrating music from long ago for the mists of time. She was standing on stage, headlining a place this size, doing her best work just three nights ago. She is forever current. She is forever Stevie. But what exactly does that mean? In my family, we listened at home, we listened in the car, we listened wherever we could. Dreams was the first song that I knew all the words to, before I really knew what the words meant. I thought it was a song about the weather. But I knew that it was a beautiful song about the weather. I always knew the words, and I loved them all. Thunder only happens when it's raining. Players only love you when they're playing. She's so wise and serene. She sees all the romance and drama in the world, and she celebrates. She will stand on stage introducing her songs, telling you how she wrote them honestly, like you're the only other person in the world. You're more than a fan, you are her friend. And her words say in so many ways, I understand you and you are not alone. And that is true Stevie. She walked the path, trained by Janis Joplin and Joni Mitchell, visionary women who had to throw a couple of elbows to create their own space. Her early band Fritz opened for Jimi Hendrix and they held her own. She was far ahead of her time, creating her own sound. It was bright, it was fresh, it was magical. Next, she formed a duo with Fritz's bassist, Lindsay Buckingham. Buckingham then on New Year's Eve 1974, Mick Fleetwood invited Lindsay Buckingham and herself to join Fleet Mac and everybody's lives became brilliant and a lot crazier. Yeah. Stevie Nicks stepped onto the world stage with unforgettable ease. I can remember it well. <laughs> she began creating stories that flowed from her heart to her pen which ended up in our souls with characters that we would always remember. Classic songs like Silver Springs, Rihanna, Gypsy and Sarah. In the 1980s, she released Belladonna. Her rare first solo album was as powerful as the super group that she was still in. It stopped dragging my heart around. She and Tom Petty took things to another level. Then she did it again with albums with like The Wild Heart and Rock A Little. With her on her own, in a duet with her band, it's probable that at some point she found herself in a barbershop quartet. Stevie could do it all. And that is true Stevie. You can't take your eyes off her, as we've seen tonight. She is the magical gypsy godmother who occupies the in-between. It's a space that can and will only ever be hers. She's a lot like a rock and roll Nina Simone, finding the notes that only she can. And by being so unapologetically herself, she gives others permission to do the same. And that is true, Stevie. <laughs> and, uh, if you're lucky enough to know her, she's always there for you. She knows what you need. Advice, a little wisdom, a blouse or shawl. And she's got you covered. Her songs make you ache, feel on top of the world, make you want to dance and usually all three at the same time. She is responsible for more running mascara, including my own, and all the bad dates in his room combined. And that is true, Stevie. There are few people who hold the stage like her. I was lucky enough to play with her at the Troubadour a few years ago, and all I could do was watch. The show is no longer yours. It is hers, and you take a knee as she takes it from you. And that is true, Stevie. 
She has many, many solo hits. If anyone falls, age of 17, talk to me. There are so many gems hidden, gems hidden within the album. There are so many gems hidden within the albums. Songs like uh, Belle Fleur and Garbo, Annabelle Lee and Umai, Who My Love. However you feel or want to feel, there is a Stevie Nicks song that will meet you there. Each song is a dance. It's an emotional ballet. It's a letter to a lover or a friend. And every single year she gathers more momentum. Somewhere around 2005, 2006, this woman became God. <laughs> On Halloween, one in seven people dressed as Stevie Nicks. <laughs> she was both an adjective and a verb. To quote my father, that was rather Stevie Nicks. <laughs> and to quote my mother, I Stevie Nicks that shit so hard. <laughs> Nick Fleetwood calls her the fearless leader. She is Mama Lion to her friends. She's the family member that you can always count on. I hope she knows what she means to us, what she means to yet another generation of artists who look to her for inspiration and trailblazing courage. That is true, Stevie. Whenever you hear her voice, life gets just a little bit better. When she sings, the world is hers and it is yours. She is everything you have ever wanted in a lady, in a lover, and in a friend. Stephanie Nicks, I love you. We all do. And that is true, Stevie.
took my love and I took it down. Climbed the mountain and I turned around. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much.